Hi guys, today I'll be showing you one of the best screenshot tools that you can use for both Windows and Mac computers. This app is called Wondershare Crop Pro. If you go to its official website here, Crop Pro. So currently it only supports Windows computer, but in the future, very short future, it will support Mac. It's a coming soon. So why using Crop Pro? Well, there are some reasons why you should consider using this app, especially if you're using a Windows computer. First, it is lightweight, which means it only takes very small space on your computer to install it. But this app is very effective in capturing any part of your computer screen. Let me show you an example here. So you have the options here, whether you want to do the selected area capture or full screen capture or fixed region capture. If you want to do the full screen capture, you just go to any page or any app or anywhere on the screen that you want to capture. Say so I want to capture the whole screen. So what I do is usually after you run it, you can just click on here to show icon and you right click on it and you select full screen capture to capture the full screen. You have the option to open in the program. It will move this screen capture to this program or pin it to screen or save it. If you click save it, which means you don't want to edit it. You only want the original photo without editing. But if you want to edit it, there are two of these options. Let's click this one first. And it will open in this app. You can edit it from there and you save it. You can also have the option to pin. When you pin, you can move it around like this. And then you right click on it, you can edit. It will go directly to that app for you to edit as well. You can also use the keyboard shortcut by going to settings, shortcuts here. So selected area capture is control shift A, full screen capture, control shift X, and fixed region capture, control L, Z. So let's do the selected area capture, control shift A. And you can select the area and you can just save it and it's done right here the second advantage of this app is that you can edit any part of a screenshot image even before you capture the screenshot let me show you what i mean here so let's say i want to use this house i click ctrl shift a select the area here what you can do is you can edit before you even capture the photo this is just selected you can just move it around which means this is before you capture the image or the screen you can edit anything let's say you put some text on it let's say just red and just put garage and then i put an arrow like that and then i want to add some numbers i put one here which is two three here so add some more text i put my room so this one car and I put this one front yard example you can even add more to it you can draw something like here this one you can write something like that here this tool you can redo and undo it you see do something here you don't like it you can just undo it undo this one too you have the option to blur manually or select it as it blur the whole thing then I can just save it and put on my desktop save if you go to the image on my desktop here you can see that's when you wanted to edit before you want to capture that image you can even edit it after you capture the image or the screen let's try that again select pin it as well move around and if i want to edit it i just click edit it will go directly to the app and you see there are lots of tools that you can edit this is after you capture it you can just enlarge the image so that you can edit it easier so if you go into the tool you can have the option to select the size of the text the font the color you can even choose more options here let's put this color we type in garage and then put an arrow let's put this arrow you can even paint it like that area you want it a little bit darker see it's kind of darker here you can draw it as well here Like so, you can write something on it. Put the number here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You see the tools there? It's really awesome. You can even put the seal here. Click on one seal you want. And you just put like approve. Seal there. You can even add stickers to it. There are four stickers currently. You put a sticker here. One sticker here. Again, after you're done editing, then you just save it by clicking here. Save it to desktop, for example. 
Click save. If you want to get full access to all the features and stickers, you need to purchase the professional or the pro version. We go to the website here. So the free trial, what you can do is screen capture, take notes on screen capture, like what I showed you earlier. Watermark will be added. So you will see the watermark here after you saved. You look at this, right here is watermark at the bottom. You still can capture it, but they have some annoying watermark at the bottom. If you want to remove that, the pro version might be your best option. And this is only for personal use if you use the free trial. But the pro version, the professional, you have to pay only $9.90. But this is a lifetime and you get full access to all features. And one license that you buy, you can use with two computers. And no more watermark, you can use it commercially. And the stickers at the moment, you will get more than that, unlimited. And you will get free lifetime upgrade. And you will get support for both Mac and Windows, which means in the future when the Mac version is available, you can download it for Mac and you don't have to pay for it again. You can try the free version first and see if you like it. And if you've decided that you like it, then you can just purchase it, the pro version. It's really worth your money. What I find surprising is the features that it allows you to capture, to edit the photo before you even save the photo. That saves you a lot of time. Example, like you want to blur some part of the photo before you want to capture it. You can just do it right there, like this photo here. You can just blur, let's say I choose this, blur the face. Or you want to blur the information here. You can do it just straight before you even capture the image. That is really handy. Okay, that's it guys. This is one of the best screenshot tools for Windows and Mac. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future. Have a great day guys. See you in the next video.